Colton, did you have any idea that the Titans were interested in you before uh, they gave you a call? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I had, you know, I got a couple coaches that coached at um, uh, UT Martin that um, are now with the Titans. And, you know, I, I knew they had interest. Um, but, you know, being drafted by them is, uh, you know, it's a dream come true. I didn't know that that was going to happen. And you, if, correct me if I'm wrong, were you here for a local pro day? And if so, what was that like? And at that point, did you kind of envision what it would be like to be make that your home? Uh, yes, sir. I did have a, a local day. Um, you know, it, it was cool to see, uh, you know, the practice facility on the inside. Me and my dad, you know, we always try to get up there, you know, um, in the summer whenever they're going through training camp. Um, it was really cool to see the inside, and I, I definitely, um, while I was there, envisioned myself, you know, playing there and uh, putting on that two-tone blue. How much of an impression, uh, Colton, did you feel like you made uh, in the game against the uh, University of Tennessee this year? Um, I, I feel like I just showed that I can, you know, I'm a good player. Um, even though I come from a small school, that um, I can compete with, you know, you know, the top dogs, whoever they put in front of me. You know, I'm a competitor, and I like to, you know, work hard and 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 you know, you know, just. Prove myself, you know, time after time against good talent. What did the Titans tell you about, about your opportunity here? What did they tell me about my opportunity? Yeah. Um, they just said that, um, that I, I can come in there, you know, carve my role with uh, carve my role in their offense or on their team with, you know, hard work and and um, you know, and I'm I'm bought into that. I'm I'm a hard working guy. So, you know, that's that's basically what they said. It's up to me how far I go. You, you said you were here, I guess you were here for training camp practice, what you're referring to, I'm assuming. Is that right with your dad? Uh, yes, sir. And when did that start? How old were you? Uh, I had a couple of teammates come um, to the to the Titans, you know, in college. So I'd say probably around 2018, 2017, I was probably, you know, I don't know, about 19 years old. Um, but we've always watched the Titans in my house. So that's a blessing. You describe yourself a Titans fan? You've been to games at the stadium? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Um, I, I would describe myself as a, you know, a Titans fan, um, especially, you know, seeing what Coach Vrabel's uh, done, you know, these past past years uh, running the team. And, you know, I, I'm definitely considering myself a Titans fan. Been to a couple games, yes, sir. What's this mean, you know, not only for you, Colton, but kind of, you know, a, a smaller school in UT Martin and, and kind of the, you know, the, the area that you grew up in, too, around, uh, around Lebanon? Um, it, it means everything, you know. It just, it proves, it shows to me, and I hope it shows to a lot of other kids, you know, um, around my area that, you know, hard work and, and, and perseverance, you know, they out, they outshine going to a small school, you know, that UT Martin, you know, I love it, but going to a small school, doesn't define you. Um, your hard work defines you. What you, would you say is your style of play as a receiver? Are you a, a guy who goes up and wins 50, 50 balls? Are you more of a burner, a precise route runner? How would you describe your game? I would say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a deep threat. Um, and get down, stretch the field. I make those uh, contested catch. You know, I'm a big body guy, so I like to use my body, you know, to maneuver myself, you know, around the DB and just you know, and make those tough uh, contested catches. Yeah. What's the best 40 you run? It was a 4-4-1 uh, or 4-4-0. Were you watching the draft today? Or were you kind of doing something else? Kind of what were you doing when you got the call? Uh, you know, I, I, I had the draft on since 11, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I've been in my it's been in my ear that I might go, you know, later on, sixth, seventh, um, sixth or seventh round. And I've just been watching the whole time, you know, being anxious and and and, and ready to see where I'm gonna land. What have you been doing to kill the time between now and you know ultimately getting drafted? Uh just watching around. I've I've done a lot of walking um on my dad's property. I just, you know, if I needed a break, I'd I'd take a walk and, and clear my brain and and let the nerves calm down. And but I I've mainly I've I've been watching the draft, you know. I've been watching. Did, you, did, you, did you grow? I mean, you. I know you went to Wilson Central High School. I mean, have you been here since you were a, a kid? Uh, yes, sir. Born and raised. I was actually I was born in Lebanon, and I I, I never left. So yeah, yes, sir. All twenty uh, four years. And I know you you got to do the work, but to have a chance to play for kind of your hometown team, you know, high school buddies, you know, people you grew up with, a chance to watch you. I mean, I I can only imagine that's probably what you've dreamed about your whole life. It's it's awesome. It's awesome. I can't I can't explain the feeling because I've never felt this before. But it's it's awesome. It's awesome. What have the text been like? Who have you heard from? Oh man, my phone's been buzzing in my pocket the whole time. You know, after after they announced that pick, it's been buzzing in my pocket. You know, I've talked to old coaches. I'm a couple old teammates. You know, high school teammates. Um, it just you know everybody. 
<laughs> they've been they've been hitting me up, so it's a blessing. Is it true that your dad is the fire chief in Lebanon? Uh, yes, sir. He was the fire chief for about 12 years, I think. Um, and he's recently retired. He's been retired for about two years now. What were your other options coming out of high school in terms of uh, college football? Um, so coming out of high school, I had Chattanooga, Richmond, um, Mercer, Furman, um, a lot of uh, smaller uh, FCS schools. Colton, when did you first believe that this sort of thing was possible for your career? I I always believed it. Honestly, um, I, I'm I've always been the type of guy that you know works for what he gets. Um, I've had to you know work hard as I could just to get anything, you know. And um, I know I know that hard work hard work re uh, reaps results. And you know, through that belief, I knew that I could make it if I just wanted it and work for it hard enough. You know, for a guy who wasn't at the combine, who played at a smaller school, just what did you do? to stand out during this pre-draft process? You know, I just, I try to build my body and, and, and build my, um, build my uh, speed and, and just show the, in the, show up in the flashy areas. You know, I've always been a strong guy. So the, uh, getting 23 on, on bench, um, that, that kind of, that kind of gave me a little spotlight. And then that the vertical and the 40, um, I just put a lot of emphasis into, you know, making myself as athletic and as uh, strong as I could before the draft. Did you visit any other, other other NFL teams or did any show interest in you? Uh yes, sir. I had multiple Zoom calls um with teams like um Arizona and and um you know the Patriots, the uh Broncos, the Chargers, and I actually uh went on a 30 visit to uh, Chicago. So yeah, definitely. What kind of stuff you do growing up in Lebanon? Did you, did you play Pop Warner? What'd you do as a as a kid in, here in this area? Uh, um, as a kid, I'm, I'm, I'm more in the county area. So me and my brother, we built forts and everything. And um, we'd lose all my dad's tools in the, in the woods and chopping down trees. But yeah, I played Pop Warner um, baseball and I played a little basketball growing up. Have you had uh, jobs in Lebanon? Um, I, I was actually an usher at a movie theater. Um, and then from that, I, I, would, I would chop wood with my dad and, and, and you know, sell firewood with him. How much you know about you? You said you're a, t a fan of the, of the team, and some guys on the team you like have, have kind of been a fan of for years, and now you're gonna be their teammates. Uh, definitely, you know, um, uh, Derek Henry's a big one, right? He's he's just an awesome guy. Um, he's a bruiser on the field, and, and what he does with how big he is, it's just it's amazing. You know, it's it's fun to watch. Um, and, and guys like uh, you know Tannehill, he's a he's a he's a fun fun guy to watch on the field, and. Um, um, I love how he's, you know, kind of revamped his career uh, through the Titans. Um, I love uh, Simmons on the D-line. He's just a, he's a freaking beast. Um, it's fun watching him uh, play. And, you know, they, yeah, yeah, I, I follow the team pretty, pretty good. How about the receiver coach, Rob Moore? Was he kind of like the primary touch point for you as far as communication with the team? Uh, commun as far as communication with the team, um, uh, Clinton McMillan, uh, he was he was you know my guy that I was in his ear and as well as Coach Jones, um, uh, both of them guys came from Martin and um, that was kind of like my uh, point of contact with the team. But I love Coach Moore. Um, we had a good conversation on the local day. You know I, I can I can tell that he wants to develop players and you know um, and he, he really cares about this game and you know I'm looking forward to working with him.